Hello, YouTube. How we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to our Wednesday evening Days Gone expert gameplay series live stream stuff or something. Very professional. <laughs> and with me this evening, helping with the chat, uh, you know her, Claire Weaver, a.k.a. 8-Bit Terror, a.k.a. Days Gone Podcast. Yeah, my voice cracked a little bit when I said that. Oh, it's like there's there's crying? some emotion in there. So, oh my god! Holy shit! I have emotions. What the fuck okay. is this? Since when? <laughs> no, right? Did you? Is that like? Did it come in a recent download or something? <laughs> I think I'm broken. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey, folks. Who do we have with us this evening? Oh, Let's can say, I hi. say hi. Would you like to? I'd like to. I will allow that. Well, no, because it's your stream. You should say hi. <laughs> no, go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, you're managing the chat for me. Go ahead. First in the chat, James Guan. What? Look at that shit. <laughs> Jer Bear is with it. Je Jeremy McGee. Jer Bear. Uh, Sean Cola. Sean, what's up? Dandy Danny. Hello, Dandy Danny 07. And CJ Voorhees. CJ Voorhees. What's up, man? Oh, and K Singh says, and hey, hey. Also, K Singh. Hey, hello and welcome. Uh, Sean, Sean says, I think they should have made the BND 150 suppressed like the Rock mm, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be nice if you could at least put a suppressor on there for those standard rifle rounds. Mm. I think the gas darts are quiet. I don't recall what the other mode of fire is. I think it's, like, is, is it electrical darts? The, like the taser point, the darts? That make no sense. Yeah, there's taser darts, yeah. there's um, the gas darts, there's explosive or something. Yeah, I think it does have explosive, uh, and then just doesn't like it? Regular. Yeah, regular. Yeah, so I think those, like the special ammo types, I, I think some of those are suppressed. I know at least the gas darts are suppressed, but the... Um, yeah, the would pointless be, ones are not. <laughs> it would be nice if you could suppress the sniper rifle rounds. That's the main reason I never run that rifle, because, I mean, it's not really useful as a sniper rifle if you can't suppress the standard sniper rifle rounds. Yes, ma'am, I see you with your hand up. I do actually have my hand up. So two things. First of all, I want to answer James Guan's question. How come Clara's with us already? So I don't uh -huh. have my kiddo tonight. On nights when I have my kiddo, um, he goes to bed usually around 8 o'clock. We're starting to wind down and doing stories and doing lights out and then it's like a whole process to try to get him to actually sleep and stay in bed <laughs> yeah. uh, which is why I'm late no to the late to the chat and why I do my evening streams at 9 o'clock anything that I'm on where I'm like a uh, featured guest not just yeah, a, a, a chat assistant <laughs> no. uh, like tonight um, just yeah, a chat I do. assistant she yes. says you know what I mean uh, but yeah I do those ones at 9 o'clock uh, so that I can make sure that he's definitely asleep and you know I'm not going to be late or anything uh, but Rex likes to do his streams at 8. Uh, so, yeah, every other week I have my kiddo on Wednesday. It kind of rotates. Um, so, yeah, so every other week I can be here on time. Oh, and the thing that I want... So someone commented on my live stream, my Days Gone live stream the other yeah. day. Uh, we've done the mission. You, we. You have done the mission to rescue Lisa from the Rippers, the big winding figure eight thing that you go through. Yes. Yeah. So remember, we were complaining about how when you start that mission, something had changed and, and they were always running at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Someone, I forget the person's name, fuck me in the ass sideways. I've oh forgotten my. their fucking name. Wait, I'm what? so sorry. I've Got forgotten their name. Today. But someone commented oh, like on one of my live streams in which I did that mission and they okay. answered the question, why? Oh, the mystery right. is solved. All right, I'm anxious. Let's hear it. Planting... The mine by the bike triggers them. Interesting. If you don't so, plant the mine by the bike, then it they don't trigger. trigger them. They're still unaware of you. But when you do that, I don't know if it's something to do with the programming or whatever. Yeah, it but makes it, it where they it aggro them. on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, that's trip the fuck out, actually. So it's not an update or some weird glitch or anything. It is just user error it's me and you since since you discovered we're, doing that and i yeah, started copying right, you right. we're trying to game the game and it's glitching and the game's like the game. well no the game is like oh really i see you trying <laughs> to right, game the game well, let's well, start this you. encounter now shall we yeah. yeah so it looks like currently the only thing we have left to do right now is this uh camp job for lost lake camp i have a question yes ma'am is this the one where if you haven't killed all the hordes, the horde will come and take out this guy for you? 
Probably. Uh, I believe this one there is. Yeah, this one there is always some sort of freaker encounter that comes in and kills them. It's either oh, runners okay. or screamers. No, no, no. This is a different one. Or something like that. There's the one by the lake, by the marshy bit. Mm. Um, somewhere north yeah, of so here. Yeah, so not here. Yeah. I think, I think we, over there. Yeah, we already did that one. Um, And yeah, there was no horde because that. What is the name? Which horde is it that comes for them? No, it might be the West Fur. West Fur Horde. That's yeah, what I was thinking. because they're like yeah. up here somewhere-ish. I think actually right here is where they spawn. Yeah, right here is their cave. Mm. Yeah, that's their cave And right that there. mission takes place somewhere around oh, here? Shit, I don't oh, shit. Oh, it's here. Know, it's honestly. here. It's this, yeah, 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 it's, it's right there. here on the western yeah. edge of this little swamp little here. swamp thing. Yeah, so yeah, if you were to leave the West Fur Horde in there, then uh, you could use them for this camp job. For that camp job, but we've already done that. All right, so we got to say hi to Island Suns. Island Suns, hello. And Passion Flower Percussion. Passion Flower Percussion. Catherine the Great is with us. Catherine the Great, hello and welcome. <laughs> Joe Schmo. Joe Schmo, 0216, official channel assistant. Yeah. Hello, sir. And let me see. Sean says the BND has the explosive, poison gas, and the taser rounds. Right, okay. Now, and I believe the, well, okay. I know the poison darts, those are the only ones I know of for sure that are suppressed. Or can be suppressed even, because you can't even put a suppressor on it. Oh, you can't? No. I've literally only used it in my second playthrough. Yeah. Um, when I did New Game Plus, and I was like, this rifle's awesome! And then I discovered other rifles, and was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> yep. um, CJ says... It feels like I've become obsessed with getting into the global ranking for Black Friday. No shit. Okay. Highest score I've gotten was 64 million. Damn, Holy son. Shit. Now, where does that put you in the ranking, though? Or, or does that place you in the ranking? Island Sun says, just got done playing. I'm trying to unlock everything I can before moving forward in the story. I found yeah. so much stuff that I didn't know of before. Yeah, man. That's what I like to do. Well, generally. Uh, Casing is asking, is Days Gone uh, 60 frames per second on PS5? Correct. It is up to 4K and 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5. James Guan is saying, someone uh, clip, uh, I assume me saying, fuck me in the ass sideways, and oh, said it God. as a ringtone. <laughs> oh, Cat is off to bed. Hello and goodbye. Oh, well, thank you for popping in, Cat. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. Get some rest, girl. Oh, Joe Schmo has two important reminders. He says, please smash that like button and hashtag fuck top chat. <laughs> All of those things. Yeah. So please do hit like if you don't mind right now. It really does help the algorithm. And also make sure you're on live chat because if you're not on live chat, that means you're on top chat and top chat is stupid. Is dumb. Yeah. And I don't know why YouTube has it, but that's the default. So we all have to switch to live chat manually. So dumb. CJ says there's a certain ambush camp at the southern part of the map where if I would fast travel to it, the game would glitch out bad and a lot of textures don't come in right. Oh. Vehicles are PS1 looking. Weird. Weird. Yeah, right? Weird. Uh, we have Cynthia off, with man. us. Cynthia. Greetings hello. from Japan. Well, hello and welcome. Thanks to your videos, I've been able to get through the game with no issues. Oh, hey. nice. Aww. Uh, Alex Andrew is with us, says hello. I hope I pronounced that right. Hi, Alex. Damn, I actually don't need any cans. I can't I can't <laughs> make any attractors or smoke bombs or anything. Oh, I don't need champagne any problems. cans. I know, right? <laughs> like, holy shit, why are we even here if I don't need any cans? Uh, Alex says it's 5 a.m. here. Damn, are you up late uh, yeah, or right? up early? CJ says I'm way far back in the ranking, even with that score. Oh wow, sixty-four million. Okay. That's not place. I mean, yeah, you're you're competing against guys like fucking Borislav twenty-four-seven and um, Horde Killer, Horde Slayer, Horde Slayer, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, uh, yep. yeah. I mean, you're competing with some of the some of the big guns. And I mean, Boris has how many hours into the game? Mm -hmm. Like literally thousands, like yeah. two thousand, three thousand, something like that. Yeah. Like a fuck done. A metric fucked up. A metric fucked up. <laughs> uh, Island Sun says, I can't lie. I'm copying the old spawn videos. Yeah, yeah. No harm in that, man. That's literally why I made them. Oh, and Alex says uh, that the Spawnicus Rex knowledge has helped him a lot as well. Oh, cool. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. 
Okay, Singh says uh, about the frame rate, uh, uh, frames per second, whatever you call it, uh, looks really good on the PS4. Glad it looks even better yeah. on the PS5. It is buttery smooth, man. However, however smooth butter <laughs> is. I don't know. Pretty smooth. Well, Sil silky smooth? Can it, we say you, silky smooth? Have you taken it out of the fridge? <laughs> yeah, right. Did you did you bring it to war, uh, bring it to room temperature first yeah. or not? Yeah. <laughs> Dandy Denny says hashtag top chat is garbage. Yeah, uh, right. Oh, Island Sons is having trouble getting in a hordes to spawn to get the auto shotgun. Oh damn! Uh, well, you have to get to Lost Lake first. You have to get to Lost Lake in order to get the auto shotgun. Because uh, once you get to Lost Lake. What I've been doing, actually on this playthrough, what I did was as soon as I got to Lost Lake, finished talking to Iron Mike, fueled up my bike, went back to the Cascades and Belknap and wiped out all the hordes up there. Because once you hit Lost Lake, that is when all of the northern hordes become available. The Cascades hordes and the Belknap hordes, it's when you hit Lost Lake that they all become available. And you cannot get the auto shotgun unlocked until you hit that point because there are seven hordes available when you first start the game and it takes 10 mm -hmm. to get to the auto shotgun. Yeah. Uh, CJ says the top scores are 2 billion. Holy fucking donkey balls, man. Really? Hey, the Jameson Juice Box is with us. Juice Box. What's up, man? Okay, come on, Harp. Let's just... Oh, Alex says I'm up early, so it's a 5 a.m. early Runners. start. Uh, my seven-month-old kid was up. <laughs> you were up with your seven-month-old kid, and you saw that Rex was live. You decided to go watch it. Nice. Uh, yeah. I hear gunshots. Ether Glide is with us. Hey, hello, Ether Glide. Ether Glide says, "I don't even own this game, and I still come here for the chat." Aw. Bring back his headscarf. Really? You don't? You don't own this game, Ether Glide? Do you not play Days Gone? It might be a little bit messy. Fine. All right. Sure. Yes. So there must have been a screamer and runners, because we have a small swarm here. Um. Ah. Yeah, we have a small swarm. And there's runners over here. And at this particular um, at this particular camp job, this bounty mission, uh, some sort of freak will always spawn here, pretty much always in my experience, mm -hmm. and uh, take this guy out if you let them just do their thing for a little while. I think that's while. part of the story of it, mm -hmm. kind of. It's, uh, it's scripted. Uh-oh, I heard a growl. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so usually screamers, unless you haven't unlocked mm -hmm. screamers yet, in which case Which we have not, us. yeah. Shit, shit. Nice. Okay. Never saw it coming. <laughs> well, I think he might have, because you knocked his helmet off. He must have been like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, Ethan Glide says, I used to own it, but after oh, the third Jesus playthrough, that was enough for me. Oh. <laughs> but you two are more than just the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Okay. You made that sound so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just meant like as an affirmative. Like, yeah, for real, man. I don't really need much of anything. I mean... I guess we'll fuck around and see what we can get. Fuck around and find out. But I need these. Do you? Do you really? <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. Two headshots and done. While you're driving back to Lost Lake or wherever it is you're going, yes, ma uh, do you want to talk about a certain video that's dropping tomorrow? Okay. I kind of do. So, y'all know I've been playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well and really having a lot of fun with it. Just haven't had enough time to really put the hours into it like I want to. So, I have started work on uh, some more videos for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 
Uh, I have one. There's a specific skill that I really enjoy using that I was advised against using at first. Everybody was like, nah, man, that skill is actually not that good. Uh, so, uh, anyway, I really enjoy using that skill. It looks badass. I love, I love yeah. watching you use that Fucking skill. Fucking awesome. Uh, so I made a video showing how to use it to make it really work for you. Uh, and Claire used her badass uh, editing vid video editing skills to help me get it right. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll... We think it's pretty fucking good, and hopefully y'all yeah. will like it too. Hopefully it will help somebody who's been playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And honestly, it's the first in... I don't want to say a first in series, but you are going to be putting out uh, more videos. I intend to do more uh, videos on, well, all of my favorites, really, but specifically Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well. CJ says, ever drive up on a gas station and suddenly a proximity bomb goes off? Never had that happen before, truth be told. It scared the ever-loving <laughs> shit out of me. Yeah, sometimes the marauders will set traps for you at locations like that. I swear, in the southern regions, there's that one um, little rest stop area or whatever, little forest shack, little yeah. whatever you call it. But I, I never had anyone spawn there, any marauders spawn there, until like my fifth playthrough and every time since. Motherfucker. <laughs> that is why I love the auto shotgun. Fuck yeah. Did you see him get redder and redder? Yeah, he was just was fucking cool. shredding him with shotgun pellets, yeah. Wow, that is a killer fucking shot right there. Photo mode. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag photo mode break. <laughs> Oh, James wants to know what is the skill. You didn't actually mention what the skill is for AC Valhalla. I didn't. Did oh. I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that, is it? <laughs> Island Sun says, on my second playthrough, now and when you get the crappy first bike, it lets me keep Deke's OG bike from the very first mission. Wait, what? How did you manage to glitch that shit out? While you're right doing there. photo mode, uh huh, yes, man. Well, I'll let you take this picture. Oh, I mean, I can, I can mash buttons while I'm okay. mashing buttons. Uh, yeah, Joe just dropped in a link for buy me a coffee. Oh, cool. Uh, do you want to talk about that? You want me to talk about uh, that? Go ahead. Yeah, Shit, okay. you're, you're better at that stuff than yeah. I am. Yeah. So, um, this is while Rex is fiddling around in photo mode. Here's a link for fiddling around. <laughs> fiddling around while he's um diddling with photo mode. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> I know, right? I mean. I can see what you're doing with that controller. <laughs> I'm in the room. <laughs> oh, did you turn vibrate back on? Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. uh, so the link on the screen is for buy me a coffee, buymeacoffee.com slash Spornicus Rex. If you like the channel and you want to see it grow. We know you do. We know and, you do. <laughs> and if you want to support Spornicus Rex and help him grow the channel, um, expand the, the videos that he's doing, the games that he's playing, the live streams, all of that good stuff, uh, Go take a look at buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. You can do a one-time contribution if you're feeling generous. Throw a little money in the tip jar. You can also become a channel member. Channel membership start at a dollar a month. That's literally 12 bucks a year. It's really not a lot. But if, if enough people join at a dollar a year, that can keep Spornicus Rex in coffee, whiskey, and video games. <laughs> He'll be That's a happy really all I bunny. ask, man. That's all <laughs> I ask. Coffee, whiskey, and video games. Maybe a little weed. Is it really too much to ask? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, all the money does come back into the channel. Yeah. Um, it helps with the games uh, that he plays. It helps with the equipment that he uses. Yeah, that um, we use. We, I mean, yeah, we. But yeah. your supporters go to right. your stuff and mine yeah. go to mine. Well, but and I just mean that, you know, it, a perfect we, share, we share a lot of equipment. So. <laughs> a, a perfect example is we actually just bought a new mic. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, viewer contribution made that possible. Yeah. That we're both on, you know, quality hardware right now mm -hmm. because you guys made that possible yeah and it is greatly appreciated uh, one more link I just want to throw up there is the uh, the merch if you want to get official Spornicus Rex merch you can get the Spornicus Rex flaming skull logo on a t-shirt did you see that did we see what that fucking thing just despawned oh like sure it didn't just run off it's possible but there's now no red on the minimap Mm, maybe it's standing real still. It literally despawned. 
Like it popped in right beside me. I shot I at see it. see the blood. Yeah. I shot at it. Got a few rounds on target. And then it just fucking disappeared. It just literally just despawned. Disappeared. Just fucking disappeared, man. <laughs> Let me finish talking about the merch. Yes, thing. ma'am. Um, so, yeah. Spawnicus Rex merch. Tees, tanks, long sleeve uh, shirts, sweaters, pins, stickers. Uh, what else do you have? Mugs you could get. Yeah. The Spawnicus Rex Lots based on a mug. Journals, notebooks, all sorts of good stuff. Go check it out. Yes, please Days Gone do. Podcast.threadless.com. And there's also Days Gone inspired designs there as well. Yeah, yeah. We've got a cool Not Today Coke. No, I was about to Radio say it. Not Tower. Today Coke. <laughs> Radio Tower design. Uh, there's the Fuck Schizo design. There's the really fucking awesome, my favorite one, the Drifter Arsenal. And it's a, a layout of a bunch of different weapons from the game the Auto Shotgun, the Saw Blade Axe, the Pipe Bomb, the Napalm Molotov. Uh, some of the artifacts from the game, like the radio, fuel can, uh, sprig of lavender, Sarah's ID badge, all sorts of cool stuff, all on one design. It's really fucking cool. Go check it out. Yeah, yeah. My personal favorite is the punch it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the, the Doom. The, there's a Doom mm, inspired yeah. t shirt. The, the, uh, the Spartacus Rex shirts are great. I, I actually I wear my. I'm, I fucking I'm wore, wearing mine right now. <laughs> right, she's wearing her uh, tank top right now. Yeah. I've, I wore my fucking Spartacus Rex shirt to uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class the other day. And you wore uh, your punch it shirt. And I wore my punch it shirt too. I had to wear that one first. Yeah. But yeah, I literally wear those all the fucking time. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're good quality stuff as well. You know, the prices are little on the spendy side but that's because we purposefully yeah. chose like the good quality fabrics quality materials yeah. You, yeah there's the option to do like the cheap the thick stiff cotton but you ain't gonna wear that t-shirt that t-shirt is going to suck did you just say ain't yeah <laughs> <laughs> you ain't done going wear that what? t-shirt wait what <laughs> I don't know. is that even english no uh <laughs> let me get back to the chat uh, CJ says, on my current hey, Ricky, playthrough, uh, a marauder was trying to open the back of a cop car. Down. Suddenly saw a laser sight nice. on the yep. dude, and the That's dude's head got blown off. Thanks, Deke. I snuck I'll up on the, the sniper, and it turns out he was a friendly. Yeah, late game, Crater Lake. I've yeah. run into those guys mm -hmm. the, like, the very came. rarely, but I've never actually seen them do anything other than yeah. stand there and freak me the there's, fuck out. There's two spots where Deschutes County militia friendlies are common to spawn. There's, there's one, one by the all the RVs and that, that big rig that's... Ye Cross the road. I'm not sure if we're talking about the same spot. Um, maybe. Yeah. We'll have to take a look There's at like it. It's like a little campsite with like a big RV. Yeah. And, and I, think yeah, it's, I, I think so. Is it just down the hill from the um, bunch of cavemen mission uh, little spot? Probably. I think it's that. Yeah, I don't remember where that one's at. Uh, I just remember it as a... Uh, it seemed to me like it was kind of close to where you get the... Uh, not the yeast for Sarah, but the other shit, the silicate. Yeah. I think it's near the place where you get the silicate for Sarah. And then there's another one that's up. There's, yeah, I don't remember exactly where it's at, but they're kind of like up a hill where it's in the snowy part of the Crater Lake region. And kind of like where you fight the Rager Bear at, the first Rager Bear. I think it's around there. There's a Rager that spawns up there, and you will often find a Shoots County Militia Friendlies up there battling a Rager Bear. I've literally yeah. never seen them. Yeah. Do I've only run into them a couple times, maybe even only once, and they just, I was like, who the fuck are these? Yeah, people? it always trips me doing? out. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Like, literally every other person you meet in the game that's not standing inside a camp or is not is someone trying saved, to kill is you. trying to kill you. So there's this armed dude just standing, standing on top of like an RV or a, um, a truck but or something. And I have a photo, I think, on my Instagram. I'm just standing next to him. I just went and posed next to him, and I was mm -hmm. like, is this guy glitched? Like, I could see he had the militia. Uh, later, uniform one, but I think it was maybe after the end of the game, and I was like, uh, dude, like, uh, have you not been back to base in a while? <laughs> yeah. if, if, yeah. Did you not get the memo? <laughs> yeah, you're kind of not really a militia anymore, dude. Yeah, really freaked me out, because yeah. I really thought he was going to kill me. Yeah, sure. And yeah, I mean, didn't. you see that fucking red beam from the sniper rifle, it's like, oh shit! Well, I've never oh, seen them oh, aim shit. at anything. He was just standing there. Mm, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Really fucking weird. All right, so we're about to start a pretty big mission here. We're about to do uh, the drinking himself to death mission Ooh. where we go and try to help our buddy Boozer out. Passion Plaza says, imagine Deke taking selfies in the apocalypse, finally using his cell phone. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So a uh, couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willies. Island Sun says, uh, it's not a new game plus. It's the original version. It lets you keep... Uh, when you start a second playthrough after completing the story, 
the siphon filter taser and Deke's original bike from the Chase and Leon mission. It's got full stats, largest tank, and the four times saddlebags. Where's Boozer? I've never seen know. that. That must be. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. That must be a, yeah, he a, was, a happy he glitch. Took off. So I've never seen that. Because the new game is supposed to just be a me. fresh start, unless you do a new Look, game plus, yeah. and it gives you everything. Whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey, we tried. <laughs> you gotta know when it's time to rest. You gotta know. You gotta know when a man's, when a man's done. done. We tried probably the witnesses that he had in place mm -hmm. to absolve him of any. Nice know, patches, you know. by the way. I'm yeah, I like that. Yeah. Hey, Knights of Finland and Basics of Pain are with us. Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey, guys. Alex is saying, uh, Claire, is the whiskey giving you a southern approach? I actually just finished drinking a coffee. I haven't had any whiskey yet. Yeah. But speaking of. Well, speaking of. Would you like me to go get some? Splishy splashy. Splishy splashy. Shall right. we? Say yes, sir. No, I'm <laughs> Roger Wilco. Yeah. Such a good crew. Boozer, you there? Boozman. Uh, yeah, Dick. Yeah, Dick. Oh, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's it's getting dark out. Where? Where? I'm at the farm. I'm at the f the farm. At the farm. Jesus, that really doesn't narrow there. it down I'm much in this you. area. Yes. You want to do the benchmark or the bullet? Mm, ooh, bullet. Yeah, we haven't had, we haven't had the bullet rye in a little while. What's that? Oh, did we? Oh yeah, yeah. About time to get some more whiskey. We're getting low. Yeah, yeah. There's the good stuff. Well, technically, the good stuff is your new whiskey. Yeah, fucking blackened Metallica whiskey. Oh my god, that sucks so good. It's fucking excellent, right, man. It really is good whiskey. We're not sponsored by the whiskey companies, by the way. Yeah, right. We just like good whiskey. Yeah. Though if any of them are watching. Hey. <laughs> okay, here's the farm. You too could advertise your project, your product right here. <laughs> just hey, send a script so I don't fuck it up. Yeah. Oh, right, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. There's no one no, here. Well, y'all are here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. Why would he get a ride from somewhere else? Why would it? It's not like the bus is going to pick him up or yeah, something. Right. Sure, man. Whatever. Sure, man. Whatever. Assholes. CJ says, hearing Sam Whitworth uh, say, I never owned a phone is even funnier now that I follow him on Twitter. <laughs> he can use the social media, LOL. Will Giles is with us. Hey, what's up, Will? What is up, Rex? Sorry I missed a couple streams. I've been busy with work and remodeling my house. Oh, cool. Oh. What are y'all doing cool. to the house? Yeah, Dandy Denny says I've run into them, the militia guys, but they're mm -hmm. always just standing around doing nothing. Hmm. Uh, Cynthia says Schizo's fashion sense is stupidly awful, <laughs> especially for the apocalypse. Boozer! You there? Who's back? Where the hell are you, booze man? Skizzo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses? That'll do it. You never really know exactly where to put them to get the screamer. So I just kind of like to cover all my bases. I mean, well. And then whatever isn't used. Yeah. Just pick you can back pick up. it up. Yeah. This is loser. Are you in here? This Island Sun like says there's no new game plus available for the version I have. A lot of weird shit I've seen that no one else seems to believe uh, has to do with my PS4 never being hooked up to the internet. Uh. So it doesn't have the. The updates, I oh, guess. Oh, wow. So you're literally playing oh, like shit. a launch day version. So you don't have... Challenge lap. mode. You don't have, you don't have mode. survival to difficulty. Right. You're, None of that. Yeah, you're missing out. And there's been like updates with... Um, there's a new update. I don't know if we're allowed to say, but there's a... Mm, I don't know if that's gone live yet or yeah, not. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm going to shut up. Um, but yeah, there's lots of updates. You should, you know, if you want... 
hook it up to the internet and get the updates. I imagine the graphics are probably uh, considerably better or, you know, they fix some of the glitches and stuff. Shall we? Speaking of whiskey. Yay. Hey, uh. Cheers, everyone. That was kind of weak. Cheers, anyway. You can do it again? Here. Yeah, let me hold it. Let me hold the glass properly. There we go. Nah, it still didn't work. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> We're just going to drink the shit now. Yeah. No playing with the mm. glass. Let's drink some whiskey. Cheers, so. everyone. Yeah, um, yeah. Sean says I can't get gold Which on the way? challenges. Yeah, they're fucking hard. But Besides Ambush Camp, Whiskey Rush, bro. and Black Friday. Mm, okay, yeah. Check out Boroslav 24-7. There you go. I was going to say it. Case of beer. I hear humming. All right. Will, Will Giles says bought Farmhouse a couple of years back and now finally updating everything. Oh, cool. Nice. All right, y'all get ready to cover your ears. Mm-hmm. You should put it right there next to those dandelions. Yeah. Though it probably wouldn't trigger in the cutscene. Right. Well, maybe it would. Do you want to reload it and try it? Nah, won't be necessary. Alright, I'll try it on my playthrough. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take this. So you were thinking where exactly? Right here by the front of this tractor tire? Yeah, she by the wanders dandelions? out, so kind of by those kind sticks. Of like I right think. in here yeah. somewhere? Okay. Seems to be, um, That's an interesting spot, something like that. I saw dandelions. I don't know if it was the ones on the left by the wheel these or if it was those these. ones, but she sort of Probably stopped. somewhere right in between the two would work because anything right in there, it's going to trigger. Yeah. You know, whether she's at these flowers or these flowers, it's going to trigger. Mm-hmm. Right, it well, would be funny to see if it blows her up in the cutscene. Yeah, I don't think it would. It won't, no. but. Yeah, I found it works. That's the reason I, I kind of put it there is like, because she doesn't always literally spawn into the game in the exact same spot. Mm. So that one usually kind of gets her as she's running off. Uh, Alex is asking you if you've ever played Green Hell. I'm not familiar Still with it. Got this beer bottle. I, I believe it may have been mentioned in the chat before. Uh, but I'm not familiar with it. Right. So Island Suns it says Loser. not even one update. A lot of the glitches are still there, but also a lot of things are still there that they took out. Yeah. I'm curious because I didn't come to the game until two years after it came out. Yeah. I was really late to the party. Didn't even know it existed. Um, so I missed out on the whole glitchy launch and all of that stuff. So what is what is in it that they took out? I found I'm curious to know. <laughs> so hey, uh, did we say hi to Joni yet? Joni is with us. I don't think we have. Hello, hey, Joni. And Miranda Saturn is with us. And Miranda Saturn. Hello, ladies. Who <laughs> James mistakenly called Miranda. <laughs> oh, Dandy Denny says, I put the bomb there and had her walk right over it in the cutscene. It doesn't go off. Wait a minute. I must have missed a prompt because I know this is where we go, but it's yeah. not letting me interact with it. You do it. have to follow the prompts. You have to go into the barn. Oh, uh, that's right. It's right here. CJ says, Rex and Claire, do you have a least favorite challenge in this game? I love the horde ones, except dead before daylight, but find the bike ones a bit of pain, a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah. You want to take that one? Loser. Oh. Are you in here? Yeah, I don't. Honestly, I don't really know the challenges well enough to tell you which one is my least favorite. Um, you want me to go? Yeah, if you've got one. <laughs> I actually don't. I I haven't done all of them. I'm yeah, too scared see. to do the endless horde challenges. <laughs> <laughs> so those would be my least favorite. I'm just I'm working up to it. I actually like the bike ones. Not everyone has trouble mm -hmm. with the bike ones. I enjoy I, them. I enjoy them. Yeah, they're all right. Loser. Where are you? Um, oh, Cynthia's saying it's Rex Mate, but haven't played Alien Isolation. I'd recommend it for your next game after you finish your current playthroughs. I fucking love that game. Uh, but I have no desire to play it again. Um, I have PTSD from that, from the, uh, oh. I don't even want to think about it. The, the androids, the synthetics, creeps me the fuck out. The working Joes. Oh my god. 
what do? Just stay right there. <laughs> Just sir. stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Yeah, Listen I have the art bike. book for that. It's really, really good art book. Uh, I wish I'm it had more in it, though. From no one. I'm going home. No, that's not really like an action game, though, right? It's more like a hide and run away kind of game. Um, it, I feel like it could be, but I didn't play it that way. Uh, I never killed an android. I'm sure you can. I was always too scared. Uh, so, yeah, it, but it, it is more on the um, stealth as a puzzle-ish mechanic, but not really a puzzle. Uh, I'm describing it wrong, but... No, you don't power yourself up and end up with a fucking rocket launcher to blast the alien out into space by the end of the game. Hmm. It is not that. It is... The, it, it's very real. The alien would just kick your fucking ass. And you'd have a hard time surviving. There he is. But it, in a, a good stroll. way. Hey, dig. How's it going, old buddy? Loser, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to old James, are you Mount stuck on, on going to fucking old top chat? I'm going to farewell. Make sure you're on live chat. <laughs> Shit, come on. We gotta <laughs> get in control. No, doing right. You want to take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Behind all of them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it. This is how we're going out? out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? That is one the big damn horde, man. Mm -hmm. That horde ain't really that big. Which horde? Does this, this become a real oh, horde? I don't you think so. Case of whiskey, you're gonna drink uh, it's probably supposed to be what one down here that you? we've probably you're already killed. You Honestly. Was a lot of goddamn there, are, there are a couple of them in this area. You'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. I think so the like Proxy said, Falls Boozer. horde is near here. Is but you've already killed that. That's yeah. how we're going out. One of the first ones I go after, yeah. <laughs> Early game. So question for everyone from Miranda, and we'll get to this maybe after you do this escape mission. All right. Uh, how did you all go, go, first go. find Days Gone? Go oh, yeah. That's a good Cars. question, Miranda. Cars. My stepson from my first marriage had uh, suggested it to me, and I rented it from Gamefly. And I let it sit there. You know, as long as you pay your Gamefly membership every Watch month, it, you drink. keep your keep oh, a game I as long as you want loser. to. Uh, so I kept it for like, geez, probably two or three months. I could have bought the game for the amount of new Gamefly membership that I paid while I just let the game sit there on the fucking shelf for several months. I was like, yeah, I'll get around to it eventually. I think I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey at the time, which is, of course, a massive fucking game. Took forever That's to finish it. That's the last it. of them. Um, but, uh, We're going to be okay. Yeah, once I got bored with I, Assassin's I Creed know. Odyssey, I, I went ahead and was like, well, fuck, I've got on. this Days Gone sitting on the shelf here. Let me let me pop that in. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. it didn't leave Rose the PlayStation listen. for uh, about a year and a half. Yeah, mine's Thank the same. I mean the it. disc was in there for Loser. so fucking uh, long. Just listen, goddammit. You came out here and you saved my sorry ass. So I discovered it Again. randomly on Amazon. It was an oh, Amazon recommendation. A year and a half after it came out, no, two years after no, it came out. Loser. It was when I it was on PS part. Plus no. for free no. and when it was launching on PC. I didn't have PS Plus. I don't I don't play on PC, so I had no fucking clue. And I just saw it recommended on Amazon. And I was like, oh, this looks like a, uh, you know, a cheap little a $20 game. I was like, this looks like a cheap game that nobody really cares about, just some small whatever. <laughs> um, but I bet it has a fun gameplay loop. That was my guess. I was like, this just looks fun. It, it looks stupid. You know, a biker in the apocalypse with zombies. Like, that's totally my fucking cup of tea. <laughs> uh, but I didn't have any, like, high expectations for it. I actually had pretty low expectations and then about, you know, an hour into the game, I was like, oh, hang on a minute. And then a few more hours, I was like, wait, wait, hang on a minute. And then I got to Lost Lake and I was like, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> so I uh, did want to mention the reason I really stopped here. Um, 
most of you will already know this, but it is kind of a fun fact. It is actually totally possible to let that horde follow you all the way into Lost Lake Camp. You can you. actually kind of just I, uh, I lead the horde real ago. slow, and you or can worse. get them inside nice Lost okay. Lake Camp here. Mm. Uh, and it's kind of funny, because there's only a handful of people who will even do anything. Like this one guy up here in the tower will usually uh, keep shooting. Uh, and freaks will just pile up around him, and everybody else is just walking around on their cigarette break and shit. So the, the horde doesn't kill him? I haven't had that happen. It's mm. I'm sure it's it may be possible, but I haven't had that happen. Skill point. So, uh, Let's see what we need. Oh, two skill point shit. We need to spend our skill points. That's what we need. Okay, um, we are up to carry that weight on survival, so probably stopping there. Uh, this one is handy, but don't really need it yet mm, oh shit we're good on rain skills too we have all the way up to head rush which allows you to recover health on a headshot kill so we do need to be investing in melee so let's increase the well, let's do the ability to perform longer combos and then well there's bull rush I think bull rush it is, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. My favorite. Mm -hmm. That's that is a damn good skill, and it really is interesting when you um, couple, couple the couple that skill bull rush with the boot knife. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. get quite a few resource free kills. Did you find him? Yeah, Ricky, I found him. Ethan Glyce's Boris Lab 24-7 was my reason Let's for diving in today's gone. One of his early videos on. showed up on my videos you might like. No and he shit. recommended some dude called Spornicus Rex, so <laughs> here I am. Here we are. Well, holy <laughs> shit, okay. Damn it, boy. CJ says, after a couple trainers, days gone became a must-have for me, and I couldn't find it anywhere when it came out. Eventually, my mom managed to get me a copy, Whoa. and it's been on my console ever since. Outstanding. I'm sorry, who was that comment? CJ. Oh, oh CJ, okay. Right on. Yeah. Oh, hey, Cynthia says lunch uh, break is over. Got to get back to work. Hope yeah. to catch <laughs> the next stream. Um, well, thank you for joining us on. on your lunch break, uh, Cynthia. I saw that hook that you made for him, and... Uh, we'll see you again real great. soon. But, uh... Don't you think it might be better Oh, James is asking, has anyone hook, seen the certain Easter egg in a certain know, game that like just came out? Or a blade or something, you know? Uh, uh, nope. Oh, hold on. Yes, you have. I have? Yeah. God of War Ragnarok. Thank you. Has the Days Gone Easter egg? So, oh, yeah, yeah. A little ode, a little so, poem, uh, the Days you, Gone. You want me to... You want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? <laughs> you want to yeah, weaponize Boozer? Yeah, I him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, D. Just fucking with you, D. That's a great idea. <laughs> uh, I will go check some parts. And See, I moments like that, I, I appreciate oh, okay. Ricky's character for moments okay. like that. Like, I'm just fucking with you, D. Calm right. down, man. Okay, and I believe now we just have to leave camp. And they'll hit us up on the radio here in a second. But I know we need to go ahead and head to Marion Forks because that's where the mission will take us. Oh, CJ says Sam has been posting about a new horror game. He's in called the Callisto Project. Yeah. A protocol it is. Yeah. Looks really good. I have it on pre-order. I'm going to be streaming that December 2nd. It's going to be my daily morning live stream. Uh, starting December 2nd over on my channel. Every day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Mountain. Right. I'm so fucking excited for that game. It looks so good. Yeah. Ooh, I have a, a minor announcement. Uh, I don't have a specific time when we're going to start it, but I do know one of the next games we're going to be doing is The Witcher 3 Remaster. Oh, yeah. yeah, they finally have announced the date. Now, this is pending if it actually comes out on this date. Uh, CD Projekt Red has finally announced the official release date for the next gen version of the witcher 3 uh the witcher 3 is one of my favorite games i played the shit out of it several years ago i've got like two or three full playthroughs on it uh but anyway we know i believe it's december 14th that the uh next gen version is supposed to release and it is free to all people who currently own the game allegedly um so yeah it should just be a free up 
a free update for me. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. So I intend to play that one soon. We have Darren Thompson with us. Darren. Darren says, wasn't really fussed about the game. It looked like just another zombie shooter. Saw that there were human enemies as well, so I bought it oh. full price on release. Damn. Top three game now for a 50-year-old gaming veteran. Oh, wired up right on. Badass. Uh, Miranda says, my Days Gone origin story is similar to Claire's. I was looking <laughs> up third-person open-world games, and Days Gone was pretty high up on every list. So I thought, oh, I'll check it out. Got it off Amazon for 15 bucks. <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah, it is. Damn. 15 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for it. I, I believe I did actually buy it on sale. Oh, Darren says Witcher 3 is his number oh. one. No shit. Oh, right on, man. And Miranda says, almost done with my first Witcher 3 playthrough. Love oh, it. Oh, yeah. I, I got to say, one of the things that I just absolutely John, adore night, about man. The Witcher 3, yeah, Mike, every single mission in the game, every single so side quest, everything, all of it has well, really well-written uh, little stories. Let's, let's say the Even just what seems like that. a simple fetch oh, quest shit, to go grab an item and bring it back has a story behind it. Uh, I guess not. Uh, but then I guess Dan Lane didn't deserve to get shot in the back Screamer. either. Screamer. Screamer. I heard something else. Though. Yeah, there was a runner. There it is. Runner. Wolf. Fuck. Run away? No. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to go farm some bounties. I forget you have the auto shotgun now. Yeah, I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on my I got my ass kicked this morning. It was really, really pathetic. Um, I sometimes still play like I have the auto shotgun or like good weapons and early game. It's like, oh yeah, I don't have that. And um, yeah. Now where'd the wolf go? Didn't do so well. I think he ran off. I guess he did. I wanted that carcass though. I was hoping the freaks would kill him. Give me some meat. Maybe don't shoot all the freaks nests oh, next yeah. time. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> silly me. CJ says, still keeping my fingers crossed for a remaster of Batman Arkham Origins, long oh. overdue. Also, rest in peace to my Batman, Kevin Conroy. Yeah, I played uh, Arkham Asylum. I think I have that one. I've never decades played ago when it first came out. I really, really enjoyed that one. The others were good too, but I, I just kind of didn't get into them. As hey, much. Geek, I got a good one for you. Mike, hey. Arkham up? City was good. Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Yeah. <laughs> Dandy oh, Denny okay. says, I saw the train list for Days Gone at E3. Thought that sounds cool and promptly accident. forgot about it. <laughs> then a few years later, I found it again. Super excited. And realized it's a PS exclusive. A so I bought a PS4 Pro and yeah. Days Gone. The kind hunters use. All right. Finally, some metal scrap it was very was expensive. <laughs> I remember now I actually wound up purchasing yeah, it from my, Gamefly like said, because I, I like I said, I had rented it from Gamefly and I played it for a while and I was like, shit, this is actually great. I, I think I'm going to keep this one. And Gamefly allows you to do a thing where you can just keep the copy, the disc that you currently have and they'll send you the box and the original packaging for it and stuff. You just like buy it. Yeah, so you're literally just buying the one you have in your hand right now because you know that disc works. You know, you've been playing it. Uh, and I think I got it for probably less than 20 bucks. It's like seventeen ninety nine, something like that. But you'd already paid to rent it? I had, well, yeah, so if you want to <laughs> add that up. They should I, just let you have it if you yeah, once right. you hit the I've already paid for I've, this. I've, yeah, I've already price. paid enough months rental on this to fucking yeah. own the game. Yeah. So I didn't think about that, but yeah. My purchase price was about seventeen ninety nine, but it was like a twenty dollar a month membership oh, for two Jesus or three months. Christ. Yeah, so I guess I wound up paying like sixty Ooh, bucks for I'm it altogether. I love how these guys always glitch and like mm -hmm. never see you coming. Yeah. I had a theory about the guy that you can't rescue yeah. up top. What's that? I was that? wondering if it's because the there isn't enough room in front of him to do to stand in the right position to do the conversation because he's on that little back. Very well, maybe that so makes I, sense. I was oh, wondering was if you uh, if you go and open the door ahead of time, like right now or whatever, go open that door, and then the next time he spawns, there might be enough room for him to take a step back or something or Inter that's an interesting it's thought. just a theory i don't yeah. know if it's a 
if it would work. But I actually, uh, I guess I should. I've never really mentioned this, I don't think. This door, I never unlock this door. Because freaks who spawn inside the house can't get to you. Mm -hmm. This is basically a safe location they to come can and get, get loot. The now, they can come in the window, but they have limited access points, and that's right. only if they follow you up onto the roof. And you can just and jump then, out another window. Right, and if only if they actually follow you through the windows, and you can just jump out if you need to. So I actually never unlock that door to the hidden loot location there, uh, just because it is safer that way. I never bother because I... There's nothing really in the house. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, there is some loot in there, but it's there's like not much. a rag and yeah. an alarm clock. A little or something. bit of crafting like stuff. Nothing, no. nothing really worthwhile. Oh, CJ says I actually saved that guy this playthrough. Maybe I looked out. Hmm. Yeah, the ones that are at farmhouses. There's one in Lost Lake and one right here in Marion Forks. Uh, the ones that are at a farmhouse, I never, never successfully rescue those guys not oh, that i recall <laughs> darren says the the picture of me on deke's bike was such a great pic <laughs> yeah it was oh my god my I face took that picture i look like such a fucking nerd <laughs> i'm just like spazzing <laughs> out uh -huh, so that's why like, we like it out yeah just guys. geeking out deking out <laughs> oh my Damn. god it's so good i didn't want to get off that thing yeah. it's actually it's a really comfortable yeah, bike it's really nice that, to yeah. sit on i was like whoa I yeah, I was like, bike. I was like, nah, dude, she done broke the nitro off this thing. I am not getting on that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're sitting on that and you're like, no, 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 I'm Dick good. Digging go kill my ass, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, random question, does the bike have a kickstand? I never see him kick him up when he gets on it. It does, I believe, and yeah, there you go. I just saw him put it down. Right you want to jump on? Oh, it kind of goes up on its own. It just like magically, he kicks it down, but it magically kind of just zoom, yeah. comes up on its own. Oh, Darren says, nah, not geeky, look right at home. Oh, I was just so fucking happy. So fucking happy. It was like one of the best moments of Literally, my entire life. I was about to say one of the best moments of my entire life. Certainly, I'd have to say the best week of my life. Mm -hmm. That'll do. She Where said I yes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> On the rim of Crater Lake in Oregon, no less. Here we go. Oh, CJ says uh, oh, the One it. Day's Gone podcast episode I still had to check out was the one with Jeff Ross. Blade. Finally got around to it today oh, and yeah. loved it like the rest. That's a damn good one. Yeah. yeah. Sporting goods store. That was so nice of him to come on the podcast as well because, I mean, it's it's been a minute. Yeah. You know, and he has talked, him and John Garvin have talked about Shit. Days eh. Gone a, a lot. lot <laughs> and have kind of... Uh, dug themselves into a few holes and I can imagine why they maybe wouldn't want to keep talking about it and you know but he was he was so generous Here to to come on the podcast and to talk now to me and kind of tell the story yet again and yeah. uh, you know um, just give us those little insights hey Borislav is with us hello sir hey. Borislav 24-7 is in the house <laughs> Uh, up, Boris says, fly and visit, as I've been busy at work and just about finished, just tuned in to like the stream. Oh, Well, Boris. thanks, bud. And the WhoFan1 is with us. Hey, WhoFan. I bought Days Gone around the time it launched, but never played it until this year. Oh. oh. I hate it when things like that happen. I have no, games that I bought. I, I bought Death Stranding a year ago, and I could have just fucking waited for the to have my PlayStation 5 and got the director's cut because it's only on the PS5 and yeah. I didn't. I was like, no, I want to play this now. It's still in the plastic. It's I haven't even opened it. <laughs> Which I have that too. I have the director's cut. But uh, good. I don't know that I'll ever play it. Honestly, I like I want to play it. I'm sure it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But I've been told by many different people that it really just does not translate well to live stream format. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of those games that I'll probably play and then just tell you how it is. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Alien Isolation. Like that's a mm. fucking awesome game, mm -hmm. but I just don't think it's your kind of game. Yeah. I just don't I think you just get kind of bored with I it. I would, yeah. I feel like I would get bored with it. I really do require some action in the so game. I don't. I don't. Wait, find, what? <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> Do I not give you enough action? No. Oh. Hold on. I know. <laughs> you know, I just take what I want, baby. Hey. Yeah, you do. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really find like super extreme stealth gameplay to be satisfying personally. 
Uh, it, it, it's honestly kind of boring to me. CJ says, Death Stranding was good, in my opinion, but took a hell of a long time for the story to kick hey. in. Mostly delivered packages yeah, and, well, piss, because oh, that's well, the thing in the uh, game, in, in that game. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Ricky. Thanks. Oh, Passionflower says, uh, Claire, I enjoyed the short clip video highlight reel. Yeah. <laughs> you great pick with Deke in the drifter bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My fucking face. Uh, she's that. been working on that video forever, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really proud of that. It's mm -hmm. like a fun little... Uh, if anyone hasn't seen it on my channel, I just dropped definitely a check out her highlight, highlight reel. reel. So it's just some like clips and, hilarious. Uh, and stuff from some of my live streams. And yeah, but there's some there's some funny moments. I love to laugh at myself. You know, that's one of the things that I just think <sighs> life's too short to be serious and like take yourself so seriously. Mm. So it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll have a laugh. I love all the people that hang out on the streams. Same here as well. You know, a right. lot of the same people. Yeah, right. Um, there is some yeah, overlap. <laughs> We have such a good community, and I love just having fun with everyone. So yeah, put together a little highlight reel of like some of the the funny moments, the Boys, cool moments. Uh, yeah. Mike's looking pretty busted. Oh, Dandy Denny says it was cute. See you around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deke, how's my favorite bounty hunter? Hey Blair, how are things? Oh, Darren future? is asking if I'm doing yep. another Christmas That's Carol nice. this year. <laughs> oh shit! Yep. Oh, That's fuck. a good I probably, question. I actually. probably should. I don't have the music studio anymore um, to record anything in, but hey, yeah, hey. we'll see. Hey Joe. Nice, good haul. That's it. <laughs> Boris says. Claire, that was a very amusing video you just released. Your voice gets so high. I'd be amazed. I'm amazed you have any intact windows in the house. That's all I got. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I do. When I get scared in, in video games, I tend to get a little squeaky. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can get <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, all right. Deacon. Now, I believe, again, all we have to do is leave camp. Like, pretty much as soon as you go through the gate, Ricky will radio you, Hey, I've got those parts ready for Bruiser's arm. That shouldn't take long. Whoops on you. Left. Hey, Deke, you there? There's I've got the radio Bruiser's call. new prosthetic ready. I asked Addy to find him and send him over. Uh, great. Great, Ricky. I'll I'll be right there. Take oh, the freaks killed a deer. Nice meat. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Knights of Finland says I should try to get some more sleep. To be honest, since I want to take more photos for my reenactment site. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, good night, KOF. Thanks for popping in, ma'am. Sean is asking Boris how much do you charge to get the gold in challenge mode. <laughs> Oh, yeah, CJ says, I haven't played it since I finished the story talking about Death Stranding. Uh, Norman Reedus confirmed a sequel is in the works. Damn, okay. Uh, I see the chat talking about late game stuff. Um, no spoilers so far, but please keep it spoiler free. I know it's been out a while. I haven't played it. I do want to play it. Mm, Death Stranding? Don't tell me. Yeah, don't, don't tell me too much. Hey. Uh, I could have been one of those, those three goddamn musketeers. On guard, you fucking ripper. Pretty cool. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> On guard, you fucking ripper. Maybe this wasn't that good of an idea? Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, Ricky, why'd you come up with this idea? <laughs> Boris answers the question of how much to get gold. A pint of blood and eternal possession of your soul, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Ooh, the Who fan says I play nothing but Days Gone from June 21st to October 29th and got 100% of the trophies. Damn, son. Now I am 21 hours into God of War Ragnarok. Ah. <laughs> Sean says to Boris, should be deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Done. <laughs> CJ says legendary reply right there. So yeah, how is God of War Ragnarok, Who fan? How's it shaping up? Say 
Hey, John. You there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. O'Brien, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. <laughs> Borislav says, I should have asked for more blood. <laughs> yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. Oh, it's just getting real now. Right. It's right Sarah, here on her admission Irene form. Whitaker. It's on her admission form. It's secretly pinhead confirmed. Oh, last hey, job. what is this? Uh, last job. We had to get rid of a bot or spam or something? Thank you, ladies. I appreciate that. Good job. Honey Okashe is with us. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. What's going on? <laughs> Sean brain. says, well, I have a rare blood yeah. type, so you still win. <laughs> Even though you should have haggled higher. Brian. <laughs> well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I got to do one last job for him first. Yeah. Yeah, one last okay. job. You should come with me. You should. Yeah. Yes. That's why I said so. Nah, Skizzle got me on farm duty, feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right after. <laughs> See, just as Boris Lab is secretly pinhead confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell him he twisted my arm. <laughs> Never gets old, does it? <laughs> Never honey gets old. Honey says, I'm not a porn bot, I promise. <laughs> and porn bot's coming in right that, at the yeah. same time as Honey arrived. Coincidence? Good timing, yeah. Mm, shit. Where are we headed? Let's go. Over to right? Lockwood Lake. You I'm old. I get tired early these days. Yeah, just north of the Rogue Tunnel. You want me to get you a road. blanket for your knees? What are we doing there? <laughs> your slippers. A Nero Chopper's going to be on the ground doing... Whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what and they're some icy hot. So, Brian, he's, uh, some Weathers what? originals? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are awesome. Oh, God. You're an old no. man. <laughs> I'm afraid I am. Oh, no. It's you're, too late to take it back. Ew. It. <laughs> is it too late to take it back? What I promised at Crater Lake. It's not and I give you the ring It's too back. late. Sorry. You've already put the ring on. Fuck. Oh. Ugh. Hey, How Captain Capinus with us. Hello, Hello sir. Howdy. Howdy. It's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my Boris says, that's me, folks. With, uh, Apologies for a limited appearance. Would love to have tuned in <laughs> earlier. Summer, Great stream, Rex and Claire. Work finished on off ski. Yeah, All the best, folks. Later. On. Bye, Boris. All right, brother. Take care. Right. We'll see you again real soon. Careful. I'm going to start calling you Farmer Bill. Farmer Bill. And he's like, you know what? I think I'm okay with that. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens. Wait, don't James let is saying his you. message disappeared. A trigger happy. No one should okay, be censoring okay, you, which I see your messages shut, saying you won't hey, spoil and good to get out again. then the one saying that your message bitch, disappeared. You know? Was there one in between? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh the Who fan says it's mostly there like God of War 2018, which is a good thing. I really like the puzzles and the story. Is the Last of Us level good? Damn. Ooh. All right. Lance is with us. Hey, 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 hey says Lance. Lance. Comes out, he looks around. I want to pay attention to how you do this. I feel like I get worse at these every time. The way I like to do this one, I drop Boozer at the bike up there, and then I run straight for these bushes. And if you're already in position when they start moving this way, you can wait right here while they play in the freaker shit. And then you just jump over the rails on the porch and go to the bushes on the other uh, side and just okay. follow them up. You do have to be careful not to get too close to the porch or they will spot you. Mm. Uh, James says, I asked if anyone yes. knows of any new games coming out soon. Weird, yeah, your message is, I don't see it at all. Yeah, man. Huh. Weird. YouTube has been a little weird lately with the chat. I've had some has. weird shit happen. We had someone else who was, uh, fuck, I forget who it was, but someone was having trouble posting messages. That was, um... It was one of our viewers just the other day. Oh, what's his name? Um... Commonly known as Miner's Lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as Medea. 
delicious berries from Juniperus Commonus. Fuck, I forget his name. So I can see his why icon. Do I why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and Lucas Knight. They're eating Is it? Berries, I don't think so. Plants, I think it's Anyway, um, oh, Cap says, I've noticed that sometimes when I put the keystrokes for smiley faces, my message disappears. What? what? Yeah, Dandy Denny, YouTube is wonky sometimes. The tubes get kind of like clogged up. Wait, did you switch to a different bush while I wasn't looking? I did. God damn it. I just move up beside the passenger side of the bus. Oh, hang on, hang on. Look, look back at the. Oh, never mind. I can. I'm just gonna look back at the bus. Line of sight here. Yeah, I come up the it like where oh. the yellow dude is standing there. I come up that side of the bus, hit those bushes, and then follow that bush and that. Bush. Oh, I never leave that bush by the bus, and then I get stuck there after mm, the mission. I'm like, yeah. ah, how do I get yeah, out? Yeah, it's one of those things where you you can't move too fast, but you can't hesitate either. Right. I'm not good at those bits. Yeah. Cap says, I just got back from Costco and bought some, what is this, Basil Hayden bourbon? Oh, as shit. As well as pork belly to smoke slash make my own bacon. Ooh, <gasps> Cap, hello. can we get a care package of that as well, please? <laughs> hey, calm down, killer. Don't be greedy. <laughs> Let that man eat his bacon in peace. Oh, Joe <laughs> hid a message from sexfind.info. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Why did you hide that one? I, what if we wanted to hang <laughs> out with them? Yeah. They seem all right. Freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Hey, WD oh, is with us. WD. What's up, buddy? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get Oh, close. Lance, so sorry I missed Sons a couple streams. Seems Rex like and Claire are so cool. I really try not to miss uh, miss any, but the last one I ran a little late. Mm. Aw. Yeah. No, hey, for real, man, don't sweat it. it we fully well, understand we put out a lot of content. We stream a lot. If if y'all can't make all of the streams, I mean, yeah, really, let me start over and say we don't expect you to make all of our streams. We Claire streams at, you know, a certain time of day that's great for, you know, uh, viewers on the other side of the globe. Mm -hmm. I stream at a certain time of day that's great for viewers on my side of the globe. So, I mean, it's it is yeah. what it is. We We just try to put out enough content that everybody gets to watch something when they and can we also stream uh seven days a week yeah. we have a stream yeah. every literally day literally seven week. days a week one or both of us is putting out content uh so i mean we obviously or for real folks don't feel any obligation to be in every live stream we appreciate every single one if, if you can't watch the live stream we'll pop in and put a comment in the comment section make sure mm -hmm. you pop in and like you know will you pull it up later and and put a we'll like on now. there or uh it's a good question you know, yeah. put a comment on there, Come in, all that shit. That kind of stuff really helps. Even if you can't make the live stream, pop in there later. Put a like on it, leave a comment, that kind of stuff. Uh, we have a new viewer, uh, Samhav. Samhav. Hey. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sure I probably didn't. I apologize. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, tell us how to say your name and we'll try to get it right. <laughs> yep. It does sound like an asshole. Oh, Lance lives in Louisiana, so time oh, okay. is uh, time is different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Louisiana is just different. I actually <laughs> lived uh, where I lived before I moved to Colorado. I was yeah. in East Texas, which is right there on the border of Texas and Louisiana. I was very close okay, to Louisiana. In fact, I, I have a somewhat right. funny story. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I used to work in sales, right? So I was on the road sales all the time. Uh, you know, staying in hotels five, six nights a week, traveling a lot. And I had a client who was right there on the border of Louisiana, and I could not find him. I, I kept driving around looking for him, looking for him. Well, finally, I noticed that I drove past a local post office. And I was like, well, shit, if anybody can tell me where this address is at, a post office can tell me how to find this address. You'd think. You'd and, hope. And so I walk in and I'm like, yo, hey, guys, I'm, you know, I'm just looking for this address. I got to meet a client here and uh, I just can't find the place. And he was like, oh, yeah, man, that's back in Texas. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? wait, huh? I'm, I'm not, not in Texas. Am I not in Texas right now? Well, then where the fuck am 
why? Is it like, yeah, dude, you're already in Louisiana. I was like, motherfucker, man. I didn't even realize I did you, not even realize I had crossed over into another state trying to find this son of a bitch. <laughs> I love how you tell that story. Like you, you are, you're a weird contradiction because you seem very worldly. And you're obviously very educated, and you know you know a lot of shit, and you don't have that real thick Texas accent <laughs> that everyone seems to have from your neck of the woods. Um, and yet you make it sound like crossing into another state is like a big deal, that you're like, shit, I didn't bring my passport, I didn't apply <laughs> like, for the I permit and the didn't visa, know where I, was. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't pay at the border, the entrance fee. Irene. <laughs> I got a cavity search at the border. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't do that. Oh, wait. They what, don't? What truck stop were you at? <laughs> Hell, I paid extra for that package. <laughs> uh, CJ says, Claire's streams are always as soon as I start work. Oh, you can never make them. Well, don't forget I have the Sunday night one. You, you pop into that one. I've seen you pop into that. But yeah, I do Sunday night. I do Friday night on the Spawnicus Rex channel. Yeah, yeah. And Tuesday night on the Spawnicus Rex channel. Yeah, yeah. And Wednesday night on the Spawnicus Rex channel. Yeah, but here I'm just an assistant. Yeah. Uh, well. And then um, Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Mountain. And then, of course, my Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Uh, Hani says, hmm, I imagine there are, there are a few bourbon aficionados in here. Yeah, yeah. I have a friend coming over from the States. What bourbon should I ask her to bring for me? Oh, shit. Uh, Buffalo Trace. Oh, yeah. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo, like the animal, Trace is T-R-A-C-E. Yep, Buffalo Trace. Trust me. I would recommend the Bullet. Uh, I really like the Bullet Rye. Also good stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Bullet, it's spelled B-U-L-L-E-I-T. Correct. Um, it's, uh, I think, the person's name. Somebody, you know, whoever invented Likely, it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but that one is really good. That's actually what we're drinking tonight. I really like that. The Pendleton was really good. We had Ooh, that. that was when good we were in stuff, Oregon, yeah. the Pendleton. Uh, rye, that was a rye. Um, yeah, that one's fucking yeah. good. I, I will say, if you if you don't know your whiskeys, but you want to try a really nice, relatively inexpensive whiskey, Buffalo Trace. That, that's your entry point right there. Yeah. Uh, Sam Pav is saying, are you playing the main story again? Uh, correct. Asking, yeah, what, what we're doing, we're going to do a full playthrough. Uh, this is a fresh playthrough. This is not a new game plus. We just started a fresh playthrough. And I was kind of also showing what I do to get started in the game uh, and how I get off to a really good start so that you're really powered up early on. Okay, let's go ahead and meet with O'Brien. I okay. love there this scene. This is some of the best fucking acting Yo, in the game. Shit. Quick question. Are you kind going to have Thor's Day on Thanksgiving? Probably not. Okay. Not official yet, but probably not. I, I tend to take, like, real holidays like that. I, I tend to try and spend time with the family instead and encourage others to do so as well. Yeah. All right, look. I'm going to lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, uh, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Hey, you got to hang out and talk to this guy, didn't you? Wait, who? What do you Bernardo De Paula. Yeah. yeah. O'Brien. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, I didn't get to hang out with him. He was, well, was I mean, like, on the phone. Was yeah. yeah. Cool that dude. That really counts. fucking cool survived. dude. You survived. They you survived. survived. Look, 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 there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w w is an artery. Infected... Freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero. Personnel. I love that's one of the first questions he asked. Who did you bring with you? Nero personnel. The soldiers. The guys with the guns. The guys who should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, no. They're too strong. I know all They're too about fast. hordes. Oh, right. know that it's next line. Oh, you know what you could have done? Here we go. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, there was, we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. They had already turned on each other by the time the mm -hmm. hordes arrived. 
every time I hear that line, I'm like, whoa, think about that for a second. Yeah. Splishy splashy. <laughs> can do more splishy splashy. I'm splashing. sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would have been dead the next morning. I'd rather die from a stab wound than a horde. Yeah. You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you? Think Everybody's you been know. telling him that. The way he delivers that line. Yeah. O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking love that bit. Mm hmm. That's one of the best scenes in the game. Uh, Lance says, I feel like Rex will always be a Texas man. So you're sorry. Yeah, yeah. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Yeah, it's, I was actually oh, speaking to uh, one of the guys well, at my uh, jiu jitsu time. class. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just yesterday, actually. You've been making new friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's an older cat. This dude's like in his, he, I swear he's got to be in his 70s. I haven't asked him, but he's an older cat. Uh, but uh, he and I were talking, and he was like, yeah, you still have a good bit of that Texas accent. It's not real strong, but I hear it. And I was like, yeah, can't help it. Can't. Can't help it. Can't. Like, I, I don't know why, but instinctively, I kind of exaggerated a bit when I'm on the live streams. I kind of <laughs> kind of affect that persona a bit. Yeah, persona? I, I don't know why. Persona? Shut up. You mocking the way I talk? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, shit. Is, it really is funny because back in East Texas, folks are all the time like, you're not from around. You ain't from around here, are you? You talk funny. <laughs> it's not that bad it's you know there is a thing about when you're um when you're streaming when you're doing you know podcasts or talking or anything like that you do tend to, uh certainly i find i exaggerate um the way i speak and I say, exaggerate is not the right word enunciate i enunciate so i feel like sometimes my accent maybe is a little thicker than it usually is like yeah. i i heard something when i was editing that highlight reel oh yeah, i talked yeah. about the being on the, the drifter bike and breaking it and um, I say, Kevin assured me. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't say that. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. And James is asking, how does O'Brien scratch his nose? <laughs> Darren says, with his tongue. <laughs> with his freaker tongue, yeah. <laughs> the Who fan says, you can take the boy out of Texas, but not the Texas out of the boy. It's a sad, sad truth. Hey, Tux Trio is with us. Tux, what's up? Okay. Uh, that's that. It sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go. All right, taking out. Now you don't have to do any of the search missions on the the, the tracking. I don't think thing. you have to. There's only like two that you interact with anyway. I usually go ahead and do those. They're on well, the you way. You ran past one, didn't you? Did I? I, you did. I don't think it was one of like a required one. Over either. here. I love this bit too. This is where you really start to see more of who Boozer is. He's no longer in the throes of a, you know, infection in his blood. He's no longer, uh, you know, literally on death's door from that infection. And and he's healed and everything. So this is, this is him. It's just right. Boozer. Yeah. Stripping away the old exterior. No, just, no, we, can't, we can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, uh, Dandy Denny says it's your right professional here. voice versus well, your you know, casual well, talking well, voice. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah you know, I've actually right. lost my casual talking voice. Um, okay. I'm constantly... All right, just oh, sh just I don't know what the word is. Just constantly okay, aware just, of how I'm hard. sounding so that, so that you yanks can understand me. <laughs> Who are you calling a yank? But like, if I just talked how I normally talk, it would be a lot different. Well, let's go kill some fucking rippers for murdering a bunch of dogs. You ready? Oh, yeah, brother. I'm ready. 
Joe says the fucking double take <laughs> deep does a boozer there, just realizing how much this bothers yeah. boozer. Yeah, for real. Get him, Boozer! Get him! Get him, buddy! Oh, that should- that was a headshot. Ooh, fuck him up. Fuck him up, baby! Yeah, right? Kick his ass! Boozer, you gonna get that motherfucker or not? There. Let me help you out. <laughs> that guy died with an axe in the back and a blade in his front. <laughs> Oh, you should go get that med kit. I will. There should be a couple more, one or two more assholes up here. Use one. Use, you heal. Right now. You're always telling me to heal. How is this fair? <laughs> now I'll heal. Now it's too late now. Now well, you're healing like me. <laughs> had I not been missing all those fucking headshots, okay? I would have filled up my health just from headshots. But, oh well. Oh, oh god damn it. Now we got the slow walkie shit. Body, 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 body. Let's, uh, let's get the hell out of here. Help cocktail. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like, uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. Bandage but, uh, inventory full. There's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? There's never going to be enough payback. There's not. Even after we murder all of the Rippers. Well, most of them. Hmm. The Who fan says, Ha! Rex doing the Vulture from Looney Tunes. Bet not many people get that reference. <laughs> Good old Looney Tunes, man. Miss that shit. Oh shit, I forgot. I needed needed to be picking up scrap. When you do the mission to make the blade arm for Boozer, it takes 10 of your scrap. Mm. So I'll need to remember to be picking up scrap as we're exploring. Are you going to be okay? Not like I got a choice. Not like I got a choice. Yeah, okay, come on. Okay, now at this point, once you have completed this mission, the rest of the Lost Lake hordes will start spawning. Now, I believe there's only two. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be like, what, the Metolius Lava Cave and uh, River Flow? Is it those two? I thought it was the Sherman's Camp. No, that one's already... You may be right, actually. I, th I think it's the Sherman's Camp one. Oh, you may be right. Fuck, I don't remember now. Huh? The Captain's Mongrel oh Fight Club. Yeah, I love. I love this that line. Where, where's your old lady? Yeah. Stay down, brother. It's one of those things. Boozer Enough? knows he needs a fucking reality where's check here. Where's your old here. lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah. And she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? I think. Think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. <laughs> I, love, asshole. I love Boos's line here. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking shameful. <laughs> Come on, man. And I love that little bit where he like misses his hand to like pull him up. Camping gonna feed itself. Okay. Turns it into like a yeah. high five, almost. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. <laughs> in a row. 37 in a row. Where are we headed? Hey, now. <laughs> no, no. I still got to work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's, it's See, I love this bit here where Boozer's like, no, dude, I, I actually do have a job to do. I, I need Day to focus. contribute to the camp, you know? He's like, no, really, let me go. I need to go back to work and finish my shift. Mm.
you avoid those boxes as well. I do, I do that. I'm always paranoid that they're going to be like solid objects. Yeah, it's like, honestly, I don't even see them per se. I just kind of slide around them. Yeah. You know, it's you just an drive over to them. avoid. Yeah. They will move, but I'm always paranoid that they won't. So. Yeah. She died that night. And there was nothing you or anyone Where are you going? could have done this about way. it. Holy shit. I should have been there. If you hadn't said anything, I would have done it smooth. Just drop it, it's done. I drive a straight line most of the time, right here to this bridge. Man, you fucked me up. <laughs> That's not where we're going. Joe says every line in of that scene is just fucking gold. Isn't it though? And Cap says, love how Boozer knows what Deacon needs yeah, to wake up. Yeah, good ass whooping. <laughs> yeah. See, I see that scene as being the same as when Ricky tries to seduce Deke. She's trying to do the same Gizzo, thing. Mm. That's like her like equivalent. Or, or the yeah, yeah, what's up? in the writing, that's Gizzo another opportunity he hey, has to yeah. have the shit beat out of him and yeah. kind of hell, admit man? that you, it's you time to move on. To yeah. yeah. Um, but he doesn't allow Ricky... To do that for numerous Jesus. reasons, but I think, I think mostly he's Outside not thinking road, about Addy or Ricky or anyone like Carlos that. I think he's just thinking about himself. Like, now nah, I'm not ready. Yeah. But when Boozer forces him to yeah, admit him his old lady is dead, that he well, Boozer's he close enough to him that he can allow Boozer to, to do mm, that. Shut yeah. up, Schizo. Hey, kind of allows uh, Boozer kind of an opportunity to make his point. Yeah. Yeah, and then they we both the quickly agree. Out. Yeah, we're not going to linger on this. We're just going to move on. I'm going to make a joke. We'll get on the bike. I'll take you to work. Yeah, we'll right. bitch about Schizo. But you know, if like with Boozer, it's like that guy thing, or maybe it's not a guy thing. Like I do it too. It's like if I'm upset, it's like okay, I want to move on. Let's just move on. Yeah. Um, you know, with Ricky, she wouldn't yeah. let that happen. If they did hook up, or if he did drop his guard a little around her, then she just wouldn't let it go. Yeah. She's too much of a fixer, I mm. think. Yeah, I've come up here for this mission and had Marauder spawn up here. So you're trying to drop Boozer off and on, the guys working. at the farm are killing Marauders. <laughs> you can't get off the bike. Boozer Don't can't work. get off the bike. Don't nothing. Me. You're just sitting there waiting for them to kill the Marauders. And it takes forever. It does take them for fuck. I'm like, dude, let me get off the bike. I will take care of this shit. Fuck. James says, I hope Rex doesn't drive in real life the way he rides in the game. <laughs> <laughs> road? What road? Way worse. Actually, no, you're, you're a really good driver. I drive like you yeah. ride the bike in the game. <laughs> CJ says camp. it would be Grand Theft Auto driving if you did. Yeah. Cap says us guys need a good kick in the ass so we don't take hints very well. Sometimes, Sometimes you just got to ride it out in crayon. Sometimes you just need a foot in the ass. God damn it, <laughs> Uh, Tuck says they make up for the dog scene immediately by having that fight scene yeah. that balances. Right. Well, yeah. You've talked about that some before, haven't you? The, the flow of storytelling like that? Yeah, yeah. You have an emotional scene and then you kick, kick into like action scene so that your audience doesn't feel melancholy and sluggish and you need to get the story going again. Yeah. Parlay with Carlos. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah. Schizo to parlay like with negotiating Carlos. with a bunch Jesus of monkeys Mike. all whacked out on PCP. No, sir. You cannot have it today. Fuck all. Hey, Boozer, I'm uh, I'm heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? What the hell for? Because I decided... <sighs> hell, it's like you said, I've, uh, I've mourned her long enough. It's uh, time to say goodbye. You heading to the church? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It's all right. Jesus, Deke. Open up. It's the last time, Boozer, I swear, Deacon out. The Who fan says, I am Mike was so naive. And CJ yeah. says, 
schizo to parlay with the rippers. Mm, Time for shit. Should have fucking known fan. better. Deacon St. John. Mm -hmm. No, really, who else would he send? Well, I think you and Quasimodo life. talked about that in the podcast episode did, about yeah. Iron Mike, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. You really need a lot who of else food. would he send? Who else can he send? And it's like, what's the worst that could happen? They kill schizo? No. Okay, so what we're doing now, because we have done that mission, you twisted my arm, where Deacon and Boozer ride out to chase down a Nero helicopter together. Because we have done that mission, the last two hordes in this area are now available to us. I know for sure one of them is the River, river Flow Farms, which spawns up here in this horde cave. The other one... I'm pretty sure it's the Sherman's Camp horde. Is it Sherman's Camp or is it Metolius Lava Cave? No, that one's already available. Check to see what you've killed. Well, yeah, there you go. I was also going to check the list on Reddit, but let's do that as well. So you go to Storylines, Progress, and you go to the Horde Killer tab, and it will tell you every single Horde that you have already killed. So let's get down here to Matoni Slava, you've killed it. Yeah. I have, haven't Shaman's I? Like, uh, Shaman's Camp, sorry. Shaman's yeah, so camp. we have Matolius, Westfer, Wapshini, Wapanisha, Burley, so it's got to be Sherman's Camp and River, River Flow, Flow Farms. Farms. That's mm -hmm. the ones, okay? Which is so, convenient. They're right, right, right there other. beside each other. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let's check the time. Uh, most of you will know I do prefer to kill hordes during the day. I like to ambush them in their caves while they are sleeping. Uh, the River Flow Farms is more fun to do at night because you can just lead them over to the farm and let the farm take them out. <laughs> yeah. That is says, one way to do it. I hear a bunk call my name. I've had really bad luck trying that method. They just get all scattered and other assholes yeah. come in and... Yeah, but it's really fun. It's way too chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> I made a right mess this morning doing the oh, Burnley Lake Horde and uh, did them... Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, it was a fucking shit show. <laughs> I was trying <laughs> to do the infestation zone up there mm. and the Horde was there and I was like, well, fuck it. And... I forget how hard, how brutal the infestation zone is. There are a lot of freaks. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, it right, didn't go well. I mean, I got it done. They're yeah, dead. Right. But yeah, it was like one of those, oh, fuck it, let's just do it. Oh, wait, I don't really have a plan or enough materials or <laughs> the right guns. Like, this is not going to go or well. Or ammo. <laughs> or any of that shit. Yeah. All right. So now the reason I mentioned this, um, you know, we're about to go take out these last two hordes in the Lost Lake region, um, but we have Deacon. already Good hit level you. three Blair, with Tucker's Camp. Because we are already at level three with Tucker's Camp, we already have access to the MG45 and the magazine upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we can equip the MG45 and we can go take out these last two hordes. Hey, come around more. Though often. both of these hordes are pretty easy to Thank take with you. throwables. I may not even need to fire the MG45, honestly. My cap says the only horde name I remember is the Death Train Horde. <laughs> it's one of the coolest names and also the horde that everybody remembers right. their first time. That's usually a um, horde virginity taker right there. <laughs> Isn't it, though? That was the first... Cherry popping horde. That was the first horde that I ever killed. That horde just had so many virgins. <laughs> Took my horde virginity. Didn't take mine. Yeah. Should have done. You out there? Didn't. Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon out. I don't care if there's a screamer swarm up there. Want those deer. Oh, Dear Cap crop. says uh, my that's fucking up the uh, the horde this morning made the stream very entertaining. Well, that's good. That's sort of what I'm doing on this playthrough. Is I'm just kind of fucking around and just doing things a little bit differently, seeing what works, seeing what I can get away with, learning what I can't get away with, <laughs> pushing boundaries and testing the waters, being a bit bratty with the game. Oh my. <laughs> do like being a bit bratty mm, mm, mm. uh the who fan says i always want to say the low but draw bridge instead of bridge ridge or... yeah right i do that as well this is it i always forget the name of the mmu there because it's the yeah. Palette, Palette 
bridge. Yeah, I can never think of that. Or, or checkpoint right There's next to the Loba right draw ridge. There. And it's like, come on, name them the same thing. I was actually going to... Are gonna, you getting MG45? Do I was going to... I was going for my sniper job. rifle yeah. that's normally in that hey, slot. Out there? Hey, Cope. Is that Cope? Yeah, let me Shut guess. Up, you got Cope. a job for me. Okay. Not today, uh, Cope. Swing by when I get a chance. Get him. Get the other one. Get the other one. There you go. Oh, there's three. Nice. There we go. You gotta take a closer look. Oh, dear. Okay. I do love that SMP9. God damn. Love that little thing. <laughs> Lance says, Rex says, love me a good brat. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed I do. This is it. Just one, though. Yeah. It's only one you That's like. what I said. I yeah. love me a good brat. <laughs> oh, James has got to hit the hay, sweet dreams, and a beautiful nightmare. Yeah, James. I'm glad you were here tonight, bud. Yeah. Take it easy, man. We'll see you later. Damn, that was profitable. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth Let's shall set you free. What does Nero want? I'm going to pop they some uh, links up on the screen, if that's okay. Do. Yeah, here, let me get this. Can you reach it? Can yeah, I get I it closer it. to you? So the first one is buy me a coffee. Uh, buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. If you want to support the channel, if you want to contribute, yeah, yeah. help the channel grow, help the channel... You know, stick around. Uh, head over there to buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. You can do a one-time contribution. You can also become a channel member. Memberships start at a single dollar a month. Twelve bucks a year. Yeah, yeah. That's really not a lot of money. You can even pay... You can do it as an annual subscription, so you can just pay twelve dollars. Ooh, tripwire. Pro tip. Go ahead. Y'all see that X on the minimap? Like, at twelve o'clock on the minimap? That lets you know there's going to be a tripwire here because there's always, always a corpse laying right beside the tripwire. So when you hit these spots where you know that it's common for a tripwire to spawn, look for the X on the minimap and you'll know if you've got a marauder attack incoming. Now, they're not always right next to the tripwire. Very they're, near, they're yeah. close-ish. Anyway, buymeacoffee.com slash Monicus Rex. Become a channel member. Um, help support the channel, help the channel grow. Do you want to give a shout out to your channel members? I would fucking love to give a shout out to yeah. my channel members. Finish killing these guys. Each and though. every goddamn one of them. Yeah, so there are various different perks when you become a member. Uh, every tier, every level of membership has a perk, so you do get something for your money as well as supporting the channel. Uh, one of the things you get is you get a shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which here we Rex go. is about to do right now. Yeah, there's my list. You already had it ready for me. Good girl. All right, check this out. Here's the bad motherfuckers who have opted in to help us grow our community. Captain Caffeine, Whoop. Basics of Pain, hey, yeah. Borislav 24 oh, 7, yeah. Sarah Monster. Uh huh. I actually went to high school with her. Floyd Rocker, Whoop. James Guan, oh, yeah. Jay Stabby, uh huh. Catherine Jones, Woo. Honey Okashe, yep. Obscured by Ink. Oh, yeah. Anton G. Whoop, whoop. W.D. Henderson. Uh-huh. Tom Moose. Yeah, yeah. Quasimoto. Good day. Dog Bone. <laughs> yeah. And Tom, the Juice Box Jameson. Yay. Yeah. I ran out of noises. I was running out of noises. <laughs> I was like, yep, uh-huh, yay, uh, uh, yay. And stuff uh, or something, uh -huh. I guess. Oh, yeah, I need scrap, don't I? How did you let me forget I need scrap, man? You're actually looting cars? You don't need it that I bad. I need scrap. Yeah, but you're not using it. So just pick it up as you go. Oh, wait. You don't play like me. You don't loot everything. No, I don't. I only loot what I actually need in the moment. I'm going to throw up a link to your Instagram. You're going to throw up? No. Do I make gonna... you that sick? Jeez. <laughs> Instagram.com slash Uh Rex is on Instagram. He posts some really fucking cool images. What I remember... Uh, well, yeah, and you also post like updates and things like that. And when I shit's remember. Going on. Yeah, when you remember. <laughs> um, but some of your photo mode captures are fucking goddamn beautiful. Uh, and you can find them over on Instagram. Instagram.com. I've got some that I'm legit proud of myself, actually. There's the link for the merch as well. Yeah. Uh, if anyone didn't catch it earlier, daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. That's where you can go to get Spawnicus Rex merch, Days Gone merch, Doom Inspired merch. Lots of cool shit. Uh, T-shirts, tanks, long sleeve tees, sweaters, pins, stickers, mugs, tote bags, art prints, 
uh, journals, notebooks, kids' shirts. You could dress your kid in a t-shirt with Spornicus Rex. With says Fox oh, Schizo. <laughs> or, and or, the Spornicus Rex logo. Um, yeah. Do it for the children, man. <laughs> Will somebody please think of the children? No, really, buy your kids a shirt, man. Yeah. My kiddo has a Drifter Arsenal shirt. <laughs> he does. He has, it's like, adorable. The, the Sawblade Axe and the uh, Chicago Chopper and the little Stubby and the SMP9. And the, um... Oh, Napalm looks like we're Molotov. in a horde fight already. Hi, guys. I mean, the horde's there. Did you not know? Yeah. Well, That's where they live in the day. Yeah. Good thing we brought the MG45. We're doing this? All right, let's do it. You're just going to murder them with a gun? Pretty much, yeah. Because huh. I can just refill this from my saddlebag for virtually zero resources, just a few credits. Oh, Cat says I'm just impressed by the number of different sound effects in the play. I should add in a few squeals <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> that was my favorite one. Definitely. <laughs> and none of those squeals, by the way, that I do when I'm playing horror games, none of them are affected. None of them are, like, put on. That is genuinely me being scared. I get super high pitched when I get scared and when I get excited. Um, what were you saying earlier about you don't like the horde getting all spread out and shit? I know, right? Came in a little too hot. Woke them up too soon. Yeah. Now this horde is not very tenacious. They don't really follow you very far. So if you were to run up that hill, most of them would fuck up. Ah. Just pro tip. I've tried to lead them up to, oh, what was I trying to take, to the Dearborn Ambush Camp, I think it was, and it was impossible. They will oh, not follow yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, they're basically campers. <laughs> CJ says, imagine Jason Spizak at a convention and a bunch of people come in wearing that shirt that says <laughs> fuck schizo. I think he'd be good about it. I yeah. interviewed him on the podcast, and he was uh, one He's of the, really good sport. One of his first sentences whoop, whoop. was like, "Now, isn't Schizo someone that you just want to kick in the nuts?" <laughs> <laughs> He's such a good sport. I yeah. love him. So we have hit fifty percent on the Horde Killer storyline, and we have unlocked the IDF pup. Now, the IDF pup is an absolutely fan fucking tastic weapon that you never use. That I personally never use because I just. I'm just not going to give up that auto shotgun in my primary slot. It's just not going to happen, man. And another thing for me, I personally, I normally run a pistol, a rifle, and a shotgun in whatever game I'm playing. If it allows you to have that combination specifically in some kind of way, that's what I run. A pistol, a rifle, and a shotgun. Uh, and of course, in this game, I normally have the SMP9 9mm full auto pistol the shotgun and a sniper rifle in this slot. So I, I don't like to deviate from that. Uh, no, it's a good combo. Loadout. I yeah. mean, I do the same. I'm always, always carrying a shotgun if I can mm -hmm. in a video game. Uh, I just, I, they're just really useful. Yeah. And then I always have a pistol because usually in video games, that's the one that you get a lot of ammo for. Yeah. So it's like a good backup. And if you're popping headshots, then it's you know perfectly useful. Yeah. Or even if you're kind of getting headshots some of the time. Like, I'm thinking in, in Resident Evil. Mm. So Resident Evil is really difficult to get headshots, the remakes. And mm -hmm. I'm streaming those at the moment. Well, Resident Evil 3 specifically at the moment. And um, the way the zombies move and lurch is very oh. unpredictable. You think it's hard to get headshots in this? I know you don't. But, like, when they do it that little be. dodge thing. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, you know, the uh, you need to heal, sir. I do. That's why I'm up here getting this free med kit. That I told you about. You did, yeah. I yeah. did not know this was here until I saw Claire hit it on one of her live streams. Yeah, the marbled cat. Uh, trust me, I, I know because it has cat in the name. So I'm like, oh, there's a cat. Oh, oh wait. it's Maybe adorable. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about the pussy. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> what was I saying? I have no idea. <laughs> that derailed my train of thought. Like, I have thoughts? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, we're talking about guns. Shotguns and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, pistol in Resident Evil, it's really fucking hard. So, I tend to do a lot of, like, body shots because I know that with a, yeah, you know, mass, larger yeah. target area that I can get more rounds into them successfully 
and maybe slow them down a bit and maybe eventually kill them and then we're on the, when they're on the ground I can headshot them or slash them with a knife or whatever yeah um, oh, Cap is asking, can Rex check if that medkit glitch works for him? Uh, mm. Stand by the medkit and then press left to heal. I, I've i been having this thing where, okay, so when you press left on the D-pad to use, yeah. when you're not in the weapon wheel, yeah. it uses a medkit when you need to heal, right? I have no idea. I never use it. I always heal with the weapon wheel, unless I'm on the bike. Right, when you're on the bike, you uh, always you've told you've answered this question before because I always thought that I it think used it uses a, a med kit. Yeah, I, I think it uses it a med stopped. Kit. It I, uses bandages now. Does it really? Which is really weird. Like Interesting. several people, we've noticed that it doesn't use med kits. Oh, huh. wild. Yeah, which I always thought that it did use bandages hmm. and then got schooled. I thought it was by you that no, it, when you're on the bike and you press left, it uses a med kit. Hmm. Because I thought I had this magical glitch where I could use a, a bandage and then have five bandages still. But no, I, I was using medkit. I was using a medkit. Fucking dumbass. Um, but yeah, I think there's something kind of kind of fucky going on. Maybe. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what it's supposed to use. Um, I just know that for me personally, I always heal from the weapon wheel unless I'm riding... That was, god damn it, that was supposed to be a motherfucking attractor. Question from Alex. Uh, asking if the IDF pup is great, because I'm more of a CC type, not a fan of shotguns myself. Uh, I don't know what CC... Crowd control. Oh, okay. Not... Actually, I don't know what the DC is. No, Chris. DC was a typo. Oh, okay. More of a CC type, not a fan of shotguns myself, playing too much of... CS in the old days. I don't Counter Strike, I, probably. Now what is this? I have one see there's one bunch that's down here on the attractor and one bunch that's running up the hill for some reason. That's why we brought an MG45. Oh CJ is saying that holding left depends on your health state. If it's enough that bandage can cover it, it It'll will use the bandage. But when you're really low on health, it will use a medkit. In yeah. my experience, it just always used a medkit, huh. even when I didn't need to. And now it uses a bandage when I need to use a medkit because the bandage doesn't get me all the way up to full health. Hmm. I don't know. Counter strike. So yes, counter strike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dandy Denny has got to go. Dinner is calling. Ah. Uh, Rather late for dinner, man. Yeah. What are we having? Yeah. Are you uh, bringing over a plate for us? <laughs> We accept all denominations of food. I looked down and looked back up and you killed the horde. I missed it. I missed <laughs> it. I saw you throw the bomb and then reload and then I looked down, read the chat, looked back up and they're dead. The Who fan says, see, this is why I hate the weapon wheel. Actually, the weapon wheel is the... Well, I don't think that was the problem. I think that was user error, maybe. Mm. Do you? Can I run through the... Um, my pro tip for using the weapon wheel? Of course, yeah, it's a good one. Do you mind getting off the bike for a second so I can demonstrate? And I can take the controls yeah. just, just for right. a second. Go ahead. You bet. Um, Shit, so, I'm going to sit here and sip some whiskey. You do yeah. what you're doing. Shit. So when you when you select something, um, you hold L1, obviously, to pull up the weapon wheel, and then you use the right stick to choose your direction. The best way to make sure you don't accidentally get the wrong thing is hold the stick where you want it to be, so like right now on a tractor, then let go of L1, and then, after you've let go of L1, let go of the stick. So you keep that stick held in that direction for longer. The than longer you hold. you hold the stick, the better. Yes. Is what she's trying yeah. to tell you. Because if you let go of two at the same time, he might not select the right thing. It might fuck up. That's how things get fucked up, is if you let go of the stick first, and then L1. So yeah. make sure you just hold that direction uh, stick, the, the stick in the right direction, then let go of L1. Mm -hmm. It works, too. 99% mm -hmm. of the time, <laughs> that will fix it. Marauder ambush. What the fuck? How many of them are there? And what, they were just like strolling out from behind something? 
I hear runners. Oh, yep. That's why I stopped. The because the runner? Yeah, because the camera angle shifted, so I knew there was a runner on me. See, you've mentioned that before. I've never seen the camera angle shift. I mean, I know it doesn't look out on you. I just it, yeah. never notice. See, I'd have found a way to lead the runner to the marauders. He was already on me. I know, but I'd have found a way to do it. And probably would have died in the process. But, like, I'm not letting them get the drop on me without delivering them a runner. Come on through the doorway. <laughs> Fucking idiots. How many of them are there? Not enough. Damn. He took three blasts to the face. Yeah, he did. Thought he was a badass. And that is why I will never switch from the auto shotgun <laughs> to other weapons. The yeah. IDF pup that we just unlocked, it's it's a great fucking weapon. It really is. Especially if you are into like highly precise shooting, which generally I just don't take the time for. I'll generally just blast him in the fucking face with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Three times if I need to. <laughs> All right, let's get back on the bike and get out of here. I was going to fuel up the bike and then head back to Lost Lake. So we do have uh, some more missions have popped up now. We now have uh, more camp jobs for uh, Cascades, um, Mark Copeland in the Cascades. And we have more jobs for Ada Tucker in the Belknap region. Plus, we have a story mission up here in Belknap and free an XP. optional a free XP optional side mission that will disappear if we get too far in the story. So, we actually have, we got plenty of stuff to do uh, next week. Shit. There. I was trying to get him to lean close enough to the pump that I could just tap tap the circle. Get him to fuel mm -hmm. up. That's it. All right. Let's head on back to home base. We'll swap back out for the sniper rifle and we'll refill the saddlebag. Shit like that. Yes, what I was talking about, I can always tell or I can usually tell when runners have spawned in and targeted me because the camera will kind of pull back away from the bike a little bit. It just kind of expands your field of view a little bit, and then you'll see red on your mini-map. Now, of course, if you're on survival difficulty, you don't have the red on the mini-map, but when you are riding on the bike and you see the camera suddenly kind of pull back away from the bike, that's when you know you've been targeted by runners. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz, how you doing? So Alex is saying I play the PC version, don't have a PS5, uh, and the Who fan says, see, this is why I hate the weapon wheel. I assume <laughs> I, I don't play on PC, so I don't know. And I know uh, you can use a PlayStation controller correct. on a PC, but correct. if you're using you. your mouse and your keyboard, hey Blair, I imagine there's trade? still a, a release one thing, then the other, or right. press Me and hold a direction or something. The same way. So hopefully that advice does translate. Hey, that's all uh, we need from yep. here. Hey, come around more. Uh, okay, let's see. So we have missions in Cascades and Belknap. We have more missions up here. Let's just get to Copeland's camp. And we'll get there. We'll refill our fuel. And then we'll be ready to uh, head out first thing in the morning on next week's live stream. First thing in the morning next week. Yeah. Well, I mean, first thing in the morning in game, because no, we're going to rest until yeah. first thing in the morning. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Deacon, hey. What's going on? Hey. It takes so long to reach the bed hey, in this camp. I don't even man? know why you bother. Camper's life. Hey, man. Yep, it's 4 p.m. We're going to camp. No, no, I mean, it's just right up the tree house here. Hey, <laughs> the Ewok life. village. Yeah. It would literally take me half a day to find it. <laughs> half a stream. <laughs> We've done that <laughs> <Yeah>. before. 
<laughs> I remember I got Sorry. stuck in there one time. I was like, how do I get down? How do I get out of the Ewok village? <laughs> Yeah, for me on uh, third person games, uh, I prefer to use a controller. First person games, like first person shooters, I prefer keyboard and mouse. Absolutely. All day, every day. Uh, for a first person shooter, man, give me a keyboard and mouse. But for third person games like Days Gone and stuff like that, I actually prefer a controller. And one of the great things that Ben Studio did when they ported Days Gone over to the PC, they set up a profile for individuals using a PlayStation 5 controller wired into the PC with a USB-C cable. Uh, and it is fucking flawless. So if you like, if you're a PC gamer, but you like using a controller for some games, especially for Days Gone, I recommend that you go ahead and get a PlayStation 5 controller. It is actually worth it because Steam already has a profile for the PlayStation 5 controller for Days Gone. So all you have to do is go in there to the controller settings in Steam and tell it, I am using a PlayStation 5 controller, select this PS5 profile, bam, you're in, ready to rock. Deacon works flawlessly. Hey, Damon. How's life? All right, folks. I think that's about it for tonight. I am actually getting pretty fucking tired. Uh, we've got a lot done, though, man. We hit a lot of serious story missions and uh, killed a couple of hordes. And now we're about to backtrack a little bit and clear up some missions in some of those early game areas. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, Joe says, man, I literally just left for like half hour to get my kid to sleep, and y'all are still going? Yeah, shutting it down right now. It's 10 o'clock anyway, my time. That's about when we shut it down anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, Claire has gone over the links with y'all tonight. Folks, you know why they're there. You know what they are and why they're there. Uh, we really do need the support. We, we do need the memberships in order to keep this channel going and in order to keep the can channel growing. Uh, and you can help with that. Each and every one of you, you can help with that. You can help us keep this going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's there's the links right there. Again, you know why they're there. You know what they are. Help a brother out. If you are one of the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that my videos have helped, if you are one of those individuals, consider contributing to the channel. Anyway, that's all I got, man. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Thursday. Claire will be here first thing tomorrow morning, 0800 on her channel for some yeah. days gone before coffee. And then tomorrow, you said Thursday, but I feel like you mispronounced it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I meant to say Thursday. That's the one. Yeah, tomorrow evening on my channel, uh, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, I will be playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which I've been putting a good bit of time into i mm -hmm. fucking really enjoy that game man i wish i had more time to play it it looks like we need to say hello did we say hello to cake batter no no that's didn't. the coolest fucking name that's awesome. cake batter uh, <laughs> i like cake excellent stream have a great night well thank you cake batter yeah. thank you for bringing cake <laughs> and gordon link says gordon. Uh, Spunkus rex what did i miss oh shit you just popped in too um missed the whole stream you missed the whole stream <laughs> <laughs> uh we did some story missions we killed some hordes uh, we opened up some new camp jobs you threw a bomb when you meant to throw in a tractor i threw in a tractor bomb when i meant to throw in a tractor grenade that wasn't my fault that was the weapon wheel being fucky uh but it is what it is you i did some really cool I driving I did some really sloppy driving. No, no, you did some cool that oh, through well, the little. Uh, oh yeah, the little cut yeah. through through the through the little I was valley impressed. there. Yeah. No, thank you, baby. Ah <laughs> uh, man, I'm fucking tired. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye, everyone. Good night. Thank you.